So I'm going to kick off this video on a slightly sad note. Lately I've been losing subscribers after uploading Call of the Night. I worked tirelessly on it. YouTube hasn't promoted it and for the life of me, I cannot figure out how I'm losing subs after uploading it. For right or wrong, my sense of accomplishment is linked to my subscriber count. So I wanted to say, in all honesty, if you're watching, you enjoy this, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me, more than you know. And now let's do this. It's pretty wholesome to start an anime with such a positive character introduction. Somehow managing to toe a line between ah and oh my god! As far as intros go, that was creative and well done. It laid out the plot with a cute voice. <laughs> Using this at the start as a way by which to set up the antagonists as an effective force. No one really wants to see the good guys continuously winning every situation with ease. <laughs> Starting that moment off from the sniper's perspective was genius, really added to the punch with the starting silence. <laughs> Two wins, firstly for a natural conversation taking place during another one happening over the phone, much more normal than one happening at a time. Secondly, it's for the phone call, showing her personality by picking up the phone and having a go about her arriving injured after having been punched during the earlier incident. That's just pure kawaii really, isn't it? That there's a prime example of a voice actress just masterfully fitting her character. I liked that a lot. This whole scene being used to set up her new mission and obviously the major storyline of how these hitmen are involved in working from a calf in the first place. One of the best ad break sequences I've seen in a very, very long time. Going back to two wins ago, this here is a clear example of her new mission. It's kind of like hired detective slash hired muscle, but you don't always hire them. They work out of a cap and are nice girls. You get the gist. I love this girl. Her reactions are just the best. There's only some very slight juddering as they get closer, but that was a very tough to animate scene, done really well in all honesty, as they alter not only her size, but also the angle as they approach. <laughs> That's probably some of the best sounding and realistic looking gunshots I've witnessed watching anime in a while. Only thing close sound effects wise was, or rather equal, was 86. <laughs> this shows that she's not a silly girl with candy floss for a brain, but instead can plan and execute a mission fast and on the spot, such as taking out a witness, the drone, and using the sound cover to get close. admit early on I'm impressed by the battles there's a tinge of realism there not just sounds but also physics seemingly being taken into account and other realisms that's two wins that is <laughs> alongside win number 16 take one for proving at the same time that she clearly has something to teach effortlessly she took out the remaining foes and without one casualty it was really awesome <laughs> Hmm? 
This is what I so enjoy towards the end of an episode, or even more so, a first episode. A light little drop of lore and mystery to keep me engaged towards episode 2 and onwards. Says a whole lot about her that she's putting her new friend first like this. Incredibly generous and empathetic. Lovely and wholesome way to end the episode. Yeah, Mika. Oh. Last second plot twist! In all honesty, if this was an OP, I'd be praising it a fair bit and moving on. But it's an ED. Normally, they don't have this much animation goodness in them. Looked fantastic and really stylish with a great song too. That's two max wins because of that. Instantly, things became more intriguing during this reveal. I also liked how they set this up with the digital look to it. What a gorgeously in-depth internal set design this is! I've been getting a hard time from some people, not many, but some for issuing out too many max wins for OPs. But for this one, I feel like I kind of have to. There's just way too much effort poured into the animation department. The song is great, and the OP reveals a bunch of details. I loved it personally, great job! Sleepy kawaii! I like her, what more can I say? What more do you want me to say? <laughs> CGI used to be fairly horrible across the board years back. Nowadays, they're really getting the hang of it. <laughs> to say I'm just impressed with the action scenes to date would be a huge understatement. <laughs> I continue to be seriously over the moon with the action scenes! How come the animation is so smooth though? God, I love when anime don't use exposition to teach us about a character's personality, traits or ideals. Just show it happening in real time instead like right here. No monologue or narration needed. <laughs> what a ridiculously unexpected question from her that to me was genuinely really beautiful. I think that's CGI, but the fact that I'm unsure is the win. <laughs> Fapatur from Made in the Best Season 2 and the former Empress from 86 Part 2! I'm glad to see the pushback. It means her character isn't a one-dimensional puppy following along. She has her own ideals that will likely alter as the series progresses instead. <laughs> I have no clue why I found that so amusing, but I really did. Oh, this is totally my favorite kind of scenery shot. Interesting getting to see the drive-in and all of the security hoops they gotta jump through just to get in. Sets the scene of this facility and the group as a whole. YouTube can be a silly goose sometimes, so it won't show it, but their outfits are pretty nice for their tests. Not even gonna attempt a lie, boys. Oi, 
She's a refreshing female character, I must say. Like, don't get me wrong, Japanese anime thankfully play by different rules to the West right now, but it's still great to see a character like her, tough, physically and mentally, the top of her class, but still kind, empathetic as said before, and striving to do right by a friend. Just like how I spoke before about avoiding exposition, this moment really tells us her mentality. She doesn't take prisoners like her mentor does, but they do it without words. Love it! <laughs> how come she's literally just the best though? Quite an impactful scene that really serves as the first time she lets her guard down as well. I swear everyone needs a friend like her. <laughs> Makes me kind of emotional, actually. She's extremely pure. You can see what they're going for, it's not the smoothest, but they're really trying to create a proper action scene with movement and angles. Still looks great though, obviously. Incredibly impressive as a whole, I adore that. Great action sequences, excellent animation and movement and angles chosen for it, and of course, it also moves her character forwards now. Two max wins! Oh my god, I love that sentence with all my heart. It's so good, I'm totally stealing that. That's a tasty looking shot if I've ever seen one. These are a favourite moment of mine, where they get over a hurdle, find themselves, get over whatever it was stopping them from their character growth, and even better, here they're now just happy, and I'm happy for them! <laughs> see what I'm saying? It's near impossible to see that and not feel all warm inside! Getting super creative within your own world building by adding this. <laughs> Whoever came up with this in their head. <laughs> then the personal crew who animated it, they all just get racist in my mind. <laughs> Don't ask me why, as I struggle to understand it myself, but I enjoy seeing anime characters wearing different clothing to normal. Maybe it makes me feel like it's different to cartoons, where it's always the same? This woman is fast becoming a favourite of mine, and yet before Made in Abyss Season 2, I didn't even know about her. <laughs> Creating straight up tasty food that looks so good and knocked monogon into the monitor and now it's cracked! <laughs> the wind just doing its own thing rather than only kicking in after someone says something important sounding. Aside from being funny, I'm kind of in awe at the sheer volume of frames. Getting our first proper insight into her mind and mission, what's driving her to use the non-lethal bullets that she uses, and also what her goal is. Hmm? 
Her really coming out of her shell, even better than that, she felt a little melancholy coming from her friend and so decided to be a little silly to cheer her up, bless her. <laughs> Battle Goose from ReZero! Why is this cool and dirty? Again, YouTube has a lot of silly goosey gooses at HQ, but I have to praise the brilliant animation as the girls opened fire on them and he ran out of dodge. It was nuts! This is what I talk about when I say it's best to avoid outright saying something. We the viewer may have been left thinking she doesn't care, just wants to leave. But that longing look of concern says otherwise. She just can't allow them to get involved right then, out of uniform and off duty and so on. <laughs> getting caught wearing the boxes! See us dudes are onto something, I'm telling ya! Ending the episode in a big way, essentially fully setting up the coming story arc. It's really a testament to the studio that they're able to keep the episodes feeling like one long continuous story and not have it become episodic, something completely different every episode. As someone who annoyingly dislikes the incorrect use of the word literally, I'm glad she said that back to her. It's rare I show the actual scenery shot first and then talk over it, but goodness me, that's stunning! The sheer amount of detail is insane. That must have been some work for someone to finish. As a lover of all things history, I have to shout out that this gate is real. Sadly, it burnt down around 150 years ago and then was rebuilt. Man, I hate when things get ruined. It would have been two max wins if multiple people were animated, but it still 100% gets a win for drawing all of that. <laughs> this great scene detailing more of the mystery, how crimes are being covered up as accidents when they cannot be resolved at the time, trying to make the public believe there's no terrorism at all. Expanding law! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Some anime can't do the distance yelling thing very well, it can sound off. Heck, some AAA games do it shoddy, so it's good to see it really well done here. Makes a difference. Taking the time to largely animate through this montage. <laughs> They have such a knack for creating tense, action-packed scenes that just flow beautifully. Yes. <laughs> it's really rather refreshing to see a woman in an anime run without flailing their arms up by their head. On my other channel, that was always the anime girl run cliche. I thought they'd do a massive ex mac at a moment here, Jisato suddenly bursts into action to save him, but no, he's saved by someone else, that's pretty good. Even this avoids being called the same, since she was shown already in advance running after them, nice! Badass moment. Such good pacing thus far, avoiding dropping too many details all at once, just peppering it in. 
もう自分で動いたり喋ったりできないらしいわよネット経由で第三者が千里たちと話してたんだよ Seriously clever plot twist that never saw that coming at all まずは一人目だリコリス Hell Let's just say the anime really leaning into its dark side there It went all Robocop one on us 本当に鼓動ないんですねそうなのすごいだろ They have done several decent endings now. That's like their thing, ending well. Kicking off the episode in a big action filled way, forwarding the story arc at the same time as their agency comes under assault, and also very nice music played here as well. The anime has such a dark side, like during win number 91, and then such a cute side, like here. I don't know why, but I'm impressed by her not living out in plain view where she can be attacked, but instead, kind of underground ish, a little, I suppose. Triple City Scenery Shots! I just love how very calm she is in moments like this. <laughs> What's an amazingly weird source of pure comedy in this series? The anime has officially gotten me to a point where I genuinely worry when things like this happen. Well played! <laughs> they are so good when it comes to mixing animation with CGI. The CGI itself isn't as good as, say, Cyberpunk Edge Runner, but the mixture is just as good. Man, I often really do shock myself with my timing. I just wrote win number 99, and now this happens. I'm worried. Her growth on display as she now chooses to take down her targets whilst keeping them alive. This cramped rescue really sold me on the idea of them being a small but incredibly tight knit family. <laughs> Originally, the win was for our own mini hacker being involved in the rescue and saving their lives. Ended up largely being the incredibly badass way the scene was actually done. Badass! Authentic voice acting actually possible. That melted my heart. I've got health issues now. The main story just beautifully being summed up at this point as these two continue to go head to head. Such a source of humorosity! <laughs> two things, firstly, that these two actually met during a prior incident years ago where she was able to stop him alone, but also little touches like this. I like that attention to detail. <laughs> Oh my god, that's comedy at its best for me! My jaw hurts after that! <laughs> Bro, I don't even get it! The comedy wasn't this much at the forefront! It's straight up hilarious now! <laughs> this anime just mining that comedy vein for wins now. Oh, 
待ってますから待ってます Made me quite sad to see her like this after waiting more than 10 years to find the answer to her question, only to have it end like this. This moment that really started the process of filling in the blanks in the story to date. <laughs> Even in this moment, learning what she has, she's still such an utter sweetheart. How they just changed the music from being upbeat to melting into her sadness of being alone? <laughs> ah, she's too bright! I can't look at her! So much goodness! Emergency Kawaii alert! Good job on the music throughout, it nicely complements each scene, such as here sounding kind of melancholy to fit the mood. It never upstages the scene. Getting a chance to see the work that the long-mentioned cleaners actually end up doing in the field. <laughs> All of these money-saving measures. <laughs> She's literally the best! Not gonna lie, I found it oddly thrilling watching them go from being an out-of-the-way calf to being popular and making money with the poop looking dessert too. Neko. 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 Inu. The love I have for this anime literally grows episode by episode at this point, with each one adding more to the overall love. It's weird, man. It's such a great anime. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Whoever came up with this and then animated it? Legend status. Today. After so much happy-go-lucky comedy this episode, this came as a genuine shock and surprise to say the least. That was insanely well done if that's what was intended. I really don't know how to react! It's like they're a little unexpectedly chubby! Stunning looking what I like to call continuous motion shots, where it never seems to break away from the scene. <laughs> also though, getting to see everything that went down years ago at the radio tower. Huh? The steadily increasing rollout of the law, learning more about the mysteries, the groups, and their abilities. I am so impressed with how they handle and animate and edit scenes like this. It comes together really nicely. Miko, not so unexpected. The best anime can really make time fly by without you understanding how it's possible that you now know the characters so well, where they live, what their lives are like. Unreal that it's only been eight episodes. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm incredibly happy that she set up what seemed like an over-the-top plan at the time, in which if she called and no one picked up, she would rush into action. Cool the 
Day two. Two ヶ月って。動き回らなければもうちょっと持つわ。何が二ヶ月？余命だ。千里の余命。いいのよ。そんな長くなかったんだから。もともと。This completely awful and gut wrenching reveal. The anime hates exposition like it's got a grudge against it. She seems incredibly happy on the surface, but this little interaction and her anger showed how she's not her normal self. In this moment, I really felt for Takina. Her helplessness、uh, was well displayed. She couldn't even do enough to stop Chisato having to run, which she knows will ultimately bring about her end even quicker. If it was done on purpose to have it rain, be cloudy and grey, miserable at the calf, and the atmosphere stripped from the place after spending so many episodes filled with its laughter and light. That's incredible. おそらくもって彼女が成人するまで。Very good pacing. Only now, at episode nine, are we, the viewer, fully informed about her condition, the new heart, and even its limitations that everyone else was aware of till now. Plus, great music they picked for it. ありがとう。うん、ありがとうは私の方。どうお礼すればいい？やるな<笑>やったぜ。Friendship goals, boys and girls! <笑> I'm really glad that she got some snow before the end, too. Grumi! Money! The, quite frankly, amazing excuses they come up with within seconds. Kind of actually giving us the first insight into why the bad guys are bad guying in this show in the first place. Using facial expressions instead of monologues to portray her feelings about Chisato and the situation. How hopeless she feels and likely useless, having found no usable information on how to help. Oh, Ricky, da, kawaii katta na. Brutal. You can now see it slowly starting to affect her as well. Yappari, samishi desu yo. Kohi. The sweetest moment in the whole anime. Just seeing the lights come back on as they plan to stick around for a while fills me with some joy, like some life rushing back into the place. Getting to see how this affects everyone else, how much they mean to her, how much life they bring to the place. They've become like an extension of it now, and it all means a lot to her. <laughs> She melts my heart! I can't go AD! 
どんどん大きくなる神事に対しての憧れはいつ終わるかわからない命を支える力となっていった Finally, it's revealed why he stayed silent all of these years. It makes perfect sense as well. A horrible catch 22 situation. Damned if he told her, damned if he didn't. このお店を始めたのも全部私が決めたこと二人とも私のお父さんだよすまないすまないほら先生泣かないで She's a beautiful soul really and the scene is only made better by him having always been calm and yet now is breaking down in front of her physically and verbally この千里はどう好きああ自慢の娘だ Ah,、uh, well played. For the first time, they actually brought tears to my eyes with that moment. <laughs> the whole speech from Battle Goose and how it's now taken the story into its final stages in such a massive way. <laughs> They just made the final part of the story that much better with that, both conflicting orders being given. Wow! I kind of doubt it's the last time we'll see her, but if it is, I'm so happy they left it with a joke. I love how the tech they use isn't a well of infinite gimmicks, but instead actually makes sense within their world. Clearly, a lot of thought went into it. <laughs> I'm so glad she stuck around! I tell ya, I'm not even joking. I'm so happy to hear that. It's not even funny! Her character has now come full circle from caring nothing of others, only of her want to return to HQ, to now being more than happy to throw it all away to save her friend. Not running on the spot! Loads of tomato sauce everywhere during the previous scene, but it gets a win for really cleverly revealing their secret organization. It happened in a very real way, I think, and now this happens. She's that good that she quickly drags him out of harm's way as his own people are attacking her and him, and then goes on to save everyone else from falling down the stairs. For likely one of the final times, that just gets a win. It looks sick, she's awesome. <laughs> she's doing all of this in pitch blackness! She remembered the code and that entrance. <laughs> What's crazy about this is that they actually found a way by which to make this battle even. It's not even slightly one sided because he has his own ability. I can finally catch my breath for a minute. It looks like they won. That was excellent. Wins all around. リリベルで対応する残念だがリコリスは全員消えてもらう動くな Easily the best plot twist in 12 episodes What a brilliant end of season twist upon us 私はそんなことのために死にかけの人形のゼンマイを巻いたわけじゃないよ人形人形か<笑>
I felt awful there, watching Chisato fight with everything she's got to keep everyone alive. <laughs> Absolute perfection. The voice acting was on point too as she screamed in anger at being unable to stop them. Easily two max wins all day. <laughs> For the final time, the battle effects get a win. I also failed to mention before that I enjoyed the environmental effects too, such as damage to the floors and walls and so on. You can consider this win also for Chisato's arrival to save them, but so much tomato puree is on screen and YouTube will slap me. <laughs> she can have a final win. How come she's literally just the best related win? <laughs> Great end to the episode, and since everything missed, I can show it all! Like always, you be awesome and skip an OP to give more content and grab a win on your way out! <laughs> They are so stupidly good at animating these battles. I'm also seriously impressed by the dedication to pumping so much animation into the battle. Prompts to making him a unique villain, uninterested in fighting her when she's not at full strength. <laughs> the old man being unreasonably awesome in this moment, goodness me! <laughs> Beautiful moment there, taking a life of one he loves in order to give life to another that he loves, but someone who is truly good in every fibre of her being. But man, if that wasn't done well. sequence was the easiest max two wins of the entire thing. Excellent animation, tense action, good music, and a mini plot twist, edge of you see ending to it as well. Bloody brilliant! He didn't want to blow it up, he just wanted to go one on one with the person who beat him in the past and who scared him the most. That's unique as hell for a villain in the end, I gotta add. It's incredibly pleasing to see everyone now back here living life together. I don't know what's going on, but she's still alright. What's going on? Even though it's not the world's best excuse as to why she disappeared, I do get it, and I'm glad it was handled in a very snappy way too, so as not to drag it out. In fact, it was more like a quick montage. It was a nice message, but I totally understand why he tore it off. She didn't need that same feeling of obligation and false admiration ever again. Seeing these two again like this, now doing that again as true friends. Never thought making this series I'd win them now serving out of another movable location, and yet here we are! Such a weird end, but a lovely one. I assume setting up a hopeful second season in the future. Definitely a final win for it though. Beautiful scenery, everyone speaking broken English. What's not to like? Be sure to tap subscribe and ring the bell. So much goodness coming your way soon. Don't miss out, and thanks for watching.
Chris Harris, Lifty, Corey Bosch, Hinakami and Water, Manuel Morales, Marquez, Nick Windham, Warkeeper, Steelers, The Epic Commander, Edelnitz, Bird Without a Word, Blitzcloud, Brandon Crea, Deliverance, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Gate 2000, Jessica Start, Kapan, Comfroig, Magnus, Nathan Bird, Red Moon, Sean, Sebastian Ramirez, Wesley Tarbuck, Wick and Faye, Andy 50, Clear Lonely Jellyfish, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Guru Guru, Israel Caldera, Juan Edvinson, Jonas Star, Jordan Samuels, Jaffa 6263, Kieran Robinson, Kelnock, Kevin Nalter, Quinito, Maxis, Luis Cruz, Matthew Blanchett, 1928, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Saint Flo 25, Sentimento, Storm 970, The Element Taylor Wars, 